So that's the furling there. It stops, slows down, then it goes in the wind again. Wind picks up, pivots the tail. Right there, you can hear the sound. That's full furling. Wind turbine spinning on our roof. Okay, this is my furling um, wooden wind turbine that I built for less than ten dollars. Um, so it's about one and a half meters, maybe four and a half feet in diameter. It has three blades that were carved out of wood. So the most expensive piece of this turbine is an eight foot one by four pine one by four. So I made the blades. It's almost like six feet worth of uh, wood for the blades. Um, and then I use it for the centerpiece and some of these pivots. I use um, it only. I only use about one eight foot, uh, one by four. The other thing that I used out of wood was this um, three eighth inch plywood. So this I use this for the center hub. So I have a triangle in the center, and the three blades they're screwed into this triangle. It's a smaller triangle that houses the bearing. And this bearing I got from Rollerblade. And there's 16 um, ball bearings. There's two ball bearings per wheel. So I got 16 ball bearings, and that's what I've used for all my turbines. Just these small roller blade ball bearings. You can use any kind of bearings. Ball bearings are the best for cars or whatever. Just throw them in there. So I just drilled a hole in the wood so they fit in there snugly. Um, from the same 3 8 inch plywood, I made these wheels. So these are grooved wheels. I cut a groove in them with the saw. And then I have this. This is... Um, the shrink tubing that you use for electrical projects. So if you twist two wires together, you can put the shrink tubing over, and when you heat it up, it shrinks. Um, so I put one piece in the other and, sh and shrunk them together when I had the right loop size. And this is my belt here for my V-pulley. And this works very well. That's about it. So it's less than $10. It's very cheap. Um, for the generator, I just have, this is a car windshield wiper mode, or sorry, uh, car window motor, so this is what um, makes the windows go up and down. I found about four or five in the garbage, and this is what they look like originally. They have a, a worm gear, so the shaft comes out here, um, and then there's a big uh, plastic gear in here. So I just cut this all off for this one, so that I'm just spinning the shaft. You can't spin the worm gear backwards, um, so I'm just using this 3 to 1 or 4 to 1 ratio um, to spin the motor. And it's really easy just to drill a hole in wood and screw it on here. This pulley I just used a two inch um, cutting saw, the, the hole saw, and you just have a perfect uh, circle that it cuts out from the center. Um, another thing, this is just a door hinge um, for the furling. So the furling protects it from spinning too fast. So I put this on my roof. Uh, it was just spinning for six hours nonstop, and whenever there is a strong gust of wind, it protects itself so that it doesn't uh, doesn't damage itself. So there it is. You can build a wind turbine. It's uh, probably can you probably produce about 100 watts from this wind turbine, and it only costs less than ten dollars. So I'm really happy how easy it was to make this furling. Um, it's great because it protects the wind turbine. The wind turbine operates up to a maximum speed. You don't want to build it for any, you know, if you have 100 kilometer winds, because that rarely happens. So what you do is you build this furling to protect it uh, at the high winds. It turns out of the wind, so it doesn't spin too fast. Um, like the, the, the blades can even bend backwards and hit the tower when it's spinning very fast, or just the, there's so much energy when it's spinning that it wants to pull out. Uh, the blades get pulled out by the centrifugal force, and also the generator isn't sized um, for that much energy because the energy that the generator produces is proportional to the cube of the wind speed. So you double your wind speed, it's eight times more power. So you can't design it for um, crazy wind speeds. You'd have a huge, huge generator and very, very strong blades. So the way I did this, we had a door placed here in our house, and they just threw out these hinges. So, of course, I saved one. This is just a normal door hinge. Um, and then I put this tail attached to it. So what happens is when the wind is coming at normal speed, the tail stays straight like this, and it points the wind turbine into the wind. Now you'll notice the hinge is on an angle. It's angled back 20 degrees. So that means the low point of the tail is here, and as it angles up, it actually starts to raise. See this angle? It starts raising up. So 
if the wind is very strong, the pivot for the tower is in the center here and there's an offset to the wind turbine. The distance from this pivot to here creates a moment. And that moment is proportional to how much wind is pushing on these blades. As it speeds up, you get more and more pushing and this will actually start spinning this way. Now the wind will be coming from this side now and that'll push the tail and it'll angle up. So if the tail is angled up like this, this is fully furled, the wind's actually coming from this side. So the blades only see the side of the wind. Then when it comes back down, when the wind um, isn't as fast, now the wind's coming straight on and the blades bite into a lot of wind. So I actually I was testing it and it slows right down. When there's a gust of wind, it turns and you can hear it breaking go choo -choo 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 -choo, as it's going sideways through the wind and it slows right down to prevent it from breaking. And that basically cost me nothing. I had all this wood lying around. Um, if you buy all this wood, uh, it might cost you three or four dollars in the hinge. So you can build a furling wood wind turbine um, for almost no money. It's amazing.